Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Wednesday, October 6th, and today we celebrate uh, the memorial feast of, um, of St. Bruno. Um, give me a second here. St. Bruno um, was the... Uh, was founder was the founder of uh, the Carthusians, um, desiring solitude and and silence. So, in a sense, a, a monastery of hermits. So, friends, let us begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship before the Lord our Maker. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship before the Lord our Maker. Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Praise for the singing, praise for the morning, praise for them springing fresh from the word. Sweet the rain's new fall, sunlit from heaven, like the first dew fall, on the first grass. Praise for the sweetness of the wet garden, sprung in completeness where his feet pass. Give joy to your servant, Lord. To you I lift up my heart. Turn your ear, O God. Turn your ear, O Lord, and give answer. For I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Have mercy on me, Lord. For I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord. For to you I lift up my soul. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my voice. In the day of distress I will call, and surely you will reply. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor work to compare with yours. All the nations shall come to adore you and glorify your name, O Lord, for you are great and do marvelous deeds, you who alone are God. Show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. Guide my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart and glorify your name forever. For your love to me has been great. You have saved me from the depths of the grave. The proud have risen against me. Ruthless men seek my life. To you they pay no heed. But you, God of mercy and compassion, slow to anger, O Lord, abounding in love and truth, turn and take pity on me. O oh, give your strength to your servant and save your handmaid son. Show me a sign of your favor that my foes may see to their shame that you console me and give me your help. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God of mercy and goodness, when Christ called out to you in torment, 
You heard him and gave him victory over death because of his love for you. We already know the affection you have for us. Fill us with a greater love of your name, and we will proclaim you more boldly before men and happily lead them to celebrate your glory. Give joy to your servant, Lord. To you I lift up my heart. Blessed is the upright man who speaks the truth. Hear, you who are far off, what I have done. You who are near, acknowledge my might. On Zion sinners are in dread. Trembling grips the impious. Who of us can live with the consuming fire? Who of us can live with the everlasting flames? He who practices virtue and speaks honestly, who spurns what is gained by oppression, brushing his hands free of contact with a bribe, stopping his ears lest he hear of bloodshed, closing his eyes lest he look on evil. He shall dwell on the heights. His stronghold shall be the rocky fastness, his food and drink in steady supply. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed is the upright man who speaks the truth. Let us celebrate with joy in the presence of our Lord and King. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has made his salvation, has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, ring out your joy. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp, with the sound of music. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, acclaim the King, the Lord. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp. Excuse me. Let the sea and all within it thunder, the world and all its peoples. Let the rivers clap their hands and the hills ring out their joy. Rejoice at the presence of the Lord, for he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with fairness. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, you revealed your justice to all nations. We stood condemned, and you came to be judged in our place. Send your saving power on us, and when you come in glory, bring your mercy to those for whom you were condemned. Let us celebrate with joy in the presence of our Lord and King. A reading from the book of Job. Naked I came forth from my mother's womb, and naked I shall go back again. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We accept good things from God, and should we not accept evil? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Incline my heart according to your will, O God. Incline my heart according to your will, O God. Speed my steps along your path according to your will, O God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Incline my heart according to your will, O God. Show us your mercy, Lord. Remember your holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. 
In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, Lord. Remember your holy covenant. Christ nourishes and supports the church for which he gave himself up to death. Let us ask him, Remember your church, Lord. You are the good shepherd who has given life and light today. Make us grateful for these gifts. Remember your church, Lord. Look with mercy on the flock you have gathered together in your name. Let no one whom the Father has given you perish. Remember your church, Lord. Lead your church in the way of your commandments. May, may your Holy Spirit keep her faithful. Remember your church, Lord. Nourish the church at the banquet of your word and bread. Strengthened by this food, may she follow you in joy. Remember your church, Lord. Gathering these prayers, these intentions, calling to mind the intentions of our hearts, we lift up our voices using those sacred words of Jesus himself. And together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, as daylight fills the sky, fill us with your holy light. May our lives mirror our love for you, whose wisdom has brought us into being and whose care guides us on our way. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. Um, what a gift, what a grace, um, and indeed a treasure to be able to pray the prayer of the Church with you, but to pray with the Church, to pray on behalf of the church to pray for the church. Um, it's, our, uh, it's our solemn duty, but our, our solemn joy. So friends, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, but above all, remember to be holy today. May God be praised in you, may God be praised through you, and I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.